Hi, welcome to Taylor Productions. My name's LT, Lindsay Taylor, and I'm going to be showing you how to paint uh, some stuff today. Okay, first thing when you're painting, you want to just make sure you have an object. Whatever it is, you just want to make sure that it's nice and clean and that, you know, like something like this. This sticker you just pull off there. Okay, just want to make sure it's nice and clean, which I already did ahead of time. Okay. Then you always want to make sure you pick out the paint and the right paint because this is going to, I'm going to be putting on a base coat, a primer. And my final objective is to paint this a different type of black. Okay. Now, if I wanted my final color to be um, a white, you obviously don't want to start with a black primer. Okay. So you always want to make sure that you pick out the black, I'm sorry, the right primer according to what, what you're vision for the project to end up looking like is. Okay, then you always want to make sure that you have a brush, that it's nice and clean, which I cleaned it prior. You want to make sure that you have a nice and clean rag, which this was a dirty rag, I just turned it upside down, so it's like a new rag starting all over. Another thing that I poured the paint on is actually just a box um, that I just ripped off so it's easy clean up so I could just paint right on put the paint right on there and then I could throw it away as soon as I'm done uh, last thing I, I got myself a clean cup and um, in here I have it's, it says vinegar but it's really um, distilled water and uh, basic H basic H is a Shackley's product um, I live by it so uh, it really helps with getting the paint off the paint brushes helps with a lot helps with your plants, helps if you have a toothache, helps with a lot. Okay, so when you're just putting on your first primer here, or your first coat, you uh, just lather it on as, as much as you want. Don't worry about wasting paint, okay? Don't try not to, you know, you know, put it on on big lops. However, you can, uh, always spread it out very well. I mean, if you spread it, then it doesn't, then it doesn't matter. But just make sure that you coat everything the first time around really, 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 really well. Uh -huh. You know, this is, painting for me is a, a therapeutic thing and, you know, it kind of lets me be, you know, at peace kind of in my mind <clears throat> without having to entertain other people, you know, when I do it by myself. However, uh, it's really nice to do with your kids. My daughter's three and she paints paintings every day. It's much better than, you know, putting them um, in front of a video game or a television, you know. I put her in front of uh, some paint and a piece of paper and a paintbrush and, you know, she's still out of my hair when she's painting. You know, but it's a fun thing to do with her, too. Often I like to uh, draw on, on the piece of paper, already have drawings like hearts or flowers or something, and then it helps her with staying in the lines. But I also like her to have her own creative imagination. Okay, you see how, like, on the side, this is, I don't know if you see that very well, but it's, it's very, it's thick. Um, it, it's kind of rough. So you just really want to make sure that you put the paint on really 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 well and it doesn't really matter if you do I'm a perfectionist but it doesn't really matter if you miss a spot the first time around because there's going to be more than one coat anyhow so I mean you don't have to it's not going to look the prettiest but okay and how I'm doing is I'm holding my paintbrush kind of like how I would be holding uh, my my pencil or something and when I paint you kind of do it with your wrist. You see how, it, like, you know, not like this. Okay. So that's nice. Okay, now I need to get me a little bit more paint here. Okay. Right now, uh, actually, this is being broadcasted out of my three bedroom loft apartment in Millersville, Pennsylvania right near Lancaster, and not too far from Philadelphia, maybe like an hour and a half, an hour and a half, maybe like two hours, 
Pensy's driving. <sighs> You know, regardless of what um, what the occasion is, you, there's always something you could do that involves painting to reconstruct something um, into something completely different than what it was. You know, you could always paint over it. Really doesn't matter what it is. You could always paint over it. You know. Want to make sure it's not, or it's a darker color. You always want to make sure that it's a darker color, your top coat, than your lighter coats, because you can't have dark coats underneath and, and want to have a light finish. You can't. That doesn't make any sense. You know. I've done it by mistake though on a few occasions. I, I, you know, not focusing and not, you know, paying attention to what I was doing, and then it, you know, sets me three steps behind. You know. But you live and learn. Okay. Like I said, you don't have to be a perfectionist about this and get every nook and cranny. You want to try to, you know, do do a good job, but there's going to be several other coats after this. So it really, really doesn't. You don't have to be like me. Okay. So checking all sides. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to let this dry, okay? I understand there's still another side underneath that's not painted. What would I hold on to, you know? So I'm going to set this down, okay? When you're cleaning your paintbrush, I like to always, you know, swirl it around really good to get a lot of, you know, get the water and the bristles loosened up and, you know, the paint off, okay? You know, and then you would just dab it, you know, don't. Don't, don't, don't go against how the bristles are on the brush because then you're going to mess up your paintbrush. So you can either leave it in the water or that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so, oops, I already see something, which it doesn't matter. You don't have to be such a perfectionist. Okay, you really don't. You really don't. Okay, so I'm going to let that go for now. Okay, um, when we come back, if you want to join me, we'll finish the bottom and then there's more to come. Okay, we do stenciling, uh, we do free stroke or whatever the heck it's called where you just draw. Okay, we do drawings to then do paintings. We do them on a lot of different things. Thank you for joining me very much. Again, I'm LT, Lindsay Taylor, Taylor Productions. Welcome. See you soon. Bye.